care of. Tonight's coach's question is from Fred Richter of DeSales Women's Basketball, and it is brought to you once again by Embassy Bank. Coach asks, what changes in or impact with the new 30-second shot clock have, uh, uh, will have, what kind of impact will that have on your offense and your defense? Well, you know, there is a change, and there's a number of different changes that are taking place in the rule book, but that 30-second shot clock is pretty significant. You know, it doesn't seem like much to go from 35 to 30, but the shaving off five seconds actually increases the pace of things. Now, at Lehigh Basketball, we played at a fairly fast rate, so I don't think it's going to affect us offensively because we are opportunistic. We try to transition and take our, our chances there. We take shots, if they're good shots, early in our possessions. So it's probably less of an effect there. But defensively, we are going to see different defenses. I think there's going to be more three-quarter court defense that's designed to slow you down, make you use clock in the backcourt before you get into your stuff. And we might even see more zone defenses in college basketball this year as a little prognostication because of that, mm -hmm. the way – uh, a three-quarter court press can easily transition into a zone. That might be something that we're looking for. And, you know, even defensively for us, we got to be thinking about those things. we got to be opportunistic sure. to make sure that we cannot allow our opponents to just feel comfortable. But, you know, for a good defensive team, and we led the, the Patriot League in field goal percentage defense this last you year, you know, that's less action that we need to guard. So when American University wants to shoot it after 34 seconds of that 35-second shot clock, now they might have to hustle up a little bit more and we can be in, glued into our positions.